Today's lesson is about classification of fish. We will explore some examples of fish. But before we go further, let's discuss what are vertebrates and how they're classified. Vertebrates are animals with backbones, like these. Vertebrates are divided into five common classes. These classes are fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Now you know vertebrates, let's move on. Since our topic is about the classification of fish, it would be nice to know that fish are also grouped into five. The hagfish, lamprey, cartilaginous fish, ray-finned fish, and lobe-finned fish. Here are some fun facts about fish that we can keep in mind which help us describe and classify animals that belong to the fish class. Number one, they live underwater. Number two, they have scales covering their bodies. Number three, they breathe through their gills. Number four, their fins help them move underwater. Number five, they are cold-blooded animals. Fish can only control their body heat by taking in heat from the outside. Number six, they are born from eggs. Basically, they are hatched from the eggs of oviparous animals like fish. Now, you know the different characteristics of fish. Let's go ahead and look at some examples of fish, like shark, tuna, stingray, and seahorse. Sharks have a cartilaginous skeleton, five to seven gill slits on the sides of the head, and pectoral fins that are not fused to the head. Sharks eat fish, seals, crustaceans, and squid. The tuna is a sleek and streamlined fish, adapted for speed. It has two closely spaced but separated dorsal fins on its back. Tunas eat fish, crustaceans, squid, and herring.
stingrays with their wide, flat bodies may not look like fish, but they are. They are related to sharks, and like their shark cousins, they do not have bones. Instead, their bodies are supported by cartilage. A stingray's diet includes clams, mussels, fish, and shrimp. Seahorses may look like underwater horses, but they are actually fish. They are bony fish. They do not have scales, but rather a thin skin. Seahorses have a coronet on their head, and they swim upright unlike most fish. They feed on shrimp, crustaceans, larvae, and plankton. Let's review! Remember, fish live underwater, they breathe through their gills, they have scales covering their bodies, fins help them move under the water, they are cold-blooded animals, and they are born from eggs. Some of the fish species are sharks, tuna, stingrays, and seahorses. Now that you know some examples of fish, it's your turn to identify them. Let's do this!
Good job! I hope that you learned something today. See you on our next episode!